Hello guys, uh, today I wanted to show you little breakdown for this project where this is an abstract noise pattern using grains. So basically they interact with each other, push apart and then also change their sizes. And you can generate these patterns in various different uh, forms and shapes. This is post from my Boosty page. Uh, you can subscribe for $5 and get access to all of those files or you can just buy project files for this exact breakdown scene. This is basically from uh, Subframe Studio here. And as you can see, uh, they got this nice effect here. But of course, uh, in in their version, the particles doesn't really collide with each other. So I wanted to push it a little bit further. So I made this setup. Starting off with the simple box here. So basically I have a box. Here is the size and here is the settings here. And what I'm saying here, I'm just creating a noise here. Let's dive inside. I basically got a turbulent noise advected with another noise. So if you look at the visualization here, as you can see, we get something like this. And basically what's gonna happen is I'm just taking simple turbulent noise and then using a, another noise, which is anti-alice noise. I'm just adding the values to the position here and then just piping this to the position of turbulent noise. And I'm just basically getting this advection here. Here's the settings. So I basically get 15. If you put this to zero, the same thing is gonna happen. But if you just start to increase this, as you can see, your noise gets distorted by another noise. And also uh, I'm just normalizing this noise just to get uh, normalized values. Next up, I'm using a delete node here. Basically what I'm saying is I'm just creating the points and delete by expression and put here at noise less than some value. In my case, I just use a float parameter here just link this up to make it easier to edit. Next up, I'm using an attribute blur here. Uh, the important part is just to untick the spin border points and you will get this nice smoother effect around these corners here. And I'm using a delete small, small parts just to remove unnecessary points and maybe small chunks that we had. Next up, I'm just scattering a one hundred thousand points and i'm just using connect adjacent pieces to connect them up into this network like structure basically we're gonna use another attribute blur on this we're just gonna smoothen out a little bit more and we just want to still have points instead of those lines so i'm just gonna use again my points and i'm just copy back this position back to the points position. Just gonna create the rest position for the, maybe for the texturing or something like this. And then also normalizing this noise again. So we get this type of structure again. This is going to be used in order to uh, create colors on these particles. In this animate P scale node, also very simple. So I'm just taking P scale. So I'm just taking a point number and then generating a random values, fitting those random values. So I just want my random values from 0 0.2 to one. And I'm just, this is like a global scale of those particles. So I've just increased this, the particles gonna be bigger. And I'm just using bind export node to export this to the P scale. But they are not animated of course. So in order to animate them, I'm just using a turbulent noise and I'm just taking this final P scale here and multiplying this by this setup. In here, I'm just creating a turbulent noise using time to offset by Y position. So my noises go up as you can see like this. And then I'm just fitting this noise again. So here's the settings. So I'm just saying increase their size based on this noise by two, by 20, sorry, by 20. So the minimum here is two. So minimum scale is like two here, as you can see. So twice as large. And then the maximum, for example, like this. So it's 20 times as large. But of course, I don't want this to happen for every particle, of course. I want this to happen to only a small portion of my particles. So that's why I did another random value. So I added a one to this random basically i'm just creating different seed and i just select it with the compare node if you just visualize this to color uh, you can see that we 
select some of the particles so basically it's less than one percent of the particles is selected only particles selected with this nodes here is gonna have effect with this turbulent thing here so basically it's just like a mask and in the end you get something like this and everything here basically goes to the grain simulation here first node is pop object I'm just taking a first input so i'm just bringing those particles in in the pop solar itself just five sub steps what we need to do is we need to somehow if you if i turn off all the nodes here nothing is going to happen because uh, the simulation is going to just take one frame and that's it so we have to update the p scale so i just say first context geometry and i just update to this code and then i use a pop grains uh, make sure you turn off the assume uniform radius because we don't have uniform radius for our particles that's pretty much the settings also important part is the sub steps so make sure you bump the bump them up and then if you hit play as you can see it's just gonna explode uh, because uh, they don't doesn't don't have any constraints here uh, but i actually uh, made a really simple solution here so inside of this sub solver so you just create a sub solver and if you dive inside inside of here i'm just taking uh, this node here right so you can also use a null here and call this for example all particles right and then if you or maybe call it out initial particles something like this uh, bringing this in here so basically what i did was in my case i just use expression here so i'm just taking first input again but you can of course link this up like this if you find it more obvious or more uh, friendly for you but i use this expression and basically i'm just bringing those particles back to their original position each frame using this blend amount so the larger this value is the more uh, effect it's going to have so more particles is going to be pushed back to their original position and it's and this is going to be happening basically five times in one frame and yeah that's pretty much it so you get like this uh, but I guess it's not working correctly for some reason let me see yeah it's not working correctly so the the problem was is that we turned off this pop drag here so you need to turn this on and this is gives us this really nice effect as you can see so they slowly push back to their position and they get pushed out with these large spheres and it creates this really nice effect after this um, you just bring them in and then you use this noise that we did here just to color them however you want to and i, I clean everything else but the p scale uh, color and then the rest and also used orient for future uh, instancing and use retime just to shift initial frames here that's pretty much it so yeah and everything here this goes to the uh, karma here and then in here i'm just using a simple sphere as you can see with the uvs so i can texture them i'm using an instancer i'm bringing this in with the object merge creating this uh, plane texturing them and then if you look at this uh, let me just lower down the resolution of course and let's hit play and of course my hdr is not set correctly so now it's set correctly of course i got some uh, problems because the texture isn't loading but that's not the case of course so yeah this is pretty much it so one hdri and one highlight this uh, magenta highlight here purple highlight that's pretty much it as i said if you want to get this scene file with all the rendering stuff uh, you can get them from my boosty page as i said and if you have any ideas for future tutorials or maybe breakdowns let me know in the comments down below thank you for watching